हेलो गाइस माय सेल्फ यूसरा मोमे टुडे ग्रुप सी ऑफ गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक पुणे इज गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट मिनी प्रोजेक्ट बेस्ड ऑन कैम एंड फॉलोअर्स ऑफ सब्जेक्ट थेरी ऑफ मशीन हेलो एवरीवन हियर आई एम वेदिका लोंडे गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अलोंग विद माय फ्रेंड्स अबाउट कैम एंड फॉलोअर्स in this presentation we are going to cover all the points like introduction of cam and follower its terminology some related definitions their types as well as advantages and disadvantages let's start with introduction so what is cam cam is a mechanical member which is used to, to transmit a rotatory motion converting into reciprocating or oscillatory motion of another mechanical member called as follower they are in contact with each other uh, this cam and follower systems are widely used in all modern machines like internal combustion machines in textile machines paper cutting machines as well as special cutting machines the shape of the cam is decided by the motion to be imparted to the follower and the surface contact between them that's why the follower's motion is usually predetermined now this is the diagram of cam terminology here you can see the direction of the followers motion which is in oscillating or we can say it's in a reciprocating motion here the follower is the roller type follower we will discuss the type deeply in next point you can also see the other points like uh, base circle cam profile pitch circle and many more so for more clarification let's see the standard definitions of these terms uh see first one is base circle it is the smallest circle that can be drawn to the cam profile from the center of the rotation of the cam next is cam profile what is cam profile it is the actual working contour of the cam with which the surface of the follower is always in contact and it uh, transmits the required motion to the follower third one is stress or uh, trace point it is the point of the follower which is used to generate pitch curve trace point represents the point of the knife edge in the case of knife edge follower and the center of the roller in case of roller follower is the point on the pitch curve of the cam having maximum pressure angle then uh, pitch curve while drawing the cam profile it is assumed that the cam is at rest at rest and the follower rotates around the cam and its velocity or relative velocity the path traced by the trace point is called the pitch curve next one is prime circle it is the smallest circle drawn to the pitch curve from the center of the rotation of the cam now the list or stroke of the follower it represents the maximum travel of the follower from base of the circle to its topmost position next one is pressure angle what is pressure angle uh, it represents the included angle at any point on the pitch curve between the line of the motion of follower and normal to that point on the cam profile this angle is of great importance in designing cam profiles now the last one is cam angle what is cam angle the uh, it is the angle of rotation of cam for definite displacement of the follower the angle turned by the cam when the follower leaps from base circle up to its maximum maximum rise is called as a uh, angle of rise when there is no displacement of the follower the angle turned by the cam is called cam angle so here we are done with the introduction of cam and follower with the help of the diagram now let's discuss the second topic that is types of cams so basically cam can be classified in three ways according to their shape according to the followers motion and third one is that manner of constant of the follower according to shape there are uh, three types of cam 
first one is disc or radial cam in this type of cam the position of the follower depends upon the position of the axis of the cam the follower reciprocates perpendicular to the axis of the cam second one is cylindrical cam in this type of cam the follower reciprocates or oscillates in the same plane as that of the axis of the cam the cam has a groove on its circumferential surface as shown in figure and the last one is wedge cam in this type of cam the cam has wedge or a groove uh, you can see that grooves in figure the cam has reciprocating motion and the follower may reciprocates or oscillate now according to followers motion there are again three types first one is well rise dwell cam in short drd cam second one is dwell rise return dwell cam that is drrd cam and third one is rise return rise cam in short rrr cam uh, in first type you can see the graph the x axis shows the cam angle and the y axis shows the followers displacement the dwelling of the cam is followed by the rise and another dwell period next one is drrd cam here again x axis x axis shows the cam angle and y axis shows the displacement of the follower this type has the rise and return preceded uh, followed by dwells now the last two type is rrr cam in this type it has only the rise return uh, rise counter and there is no dwell see the diagram the displacement of the follower it rises and then return there is no dwell position this type has very limited use in machinery thank you vedika hello everyone i am sakshi karoke i am going to talk about follower its types and types of follower motion and also the displacement diagram the follower is that type of member which converts rotary motion of the cam into reciprocating or oscillating motion that is when cam rotate follower will move in up and down direction so this cam and follower mechanism can be used in many, many applications like inlet and exhaust of exhaust wall of ic engine similarly this mechanism also used in paper cutting machines and also in lathe machine uh, let's see classification of followers there are three main types of follower that is according to their shape or surface of contact the second one is according to type of motion of follower and the last one is according to line of motion of follower let's see type of follower according to their shape they are subdivided into four classes which is first one is knife edge follower second one is flat faced which is also called as mushroom follower then we have roller follower and the last one is spherical follower here whatever examples i have given based on surface of contact this or are all examples of reciprocating follower let's start with first kind of follower which is knife edge follower then in case of knife edge follower the point con the point of contact of follower and cam is it in shape of sharp edge so here as we can see in the first diagram the follower is having sharp edge and that's why it is called as knife edge follower it is simplest follower in construction it is this type of follower not suitable for precision application that is where timing is more important we can't use this type of follower there this is mostly used in paper cutting operations next we have flat faced follower which is also called as mushroom follower as we can see in the third diagram the point of contact or the surface of contact with the cam here the follower is flat faced it is having flat surface so such kind of follower can be used in precision applications so this is all about flat flat face follower next we will see roller follower now in case of roller follower the point of contact between the follower and roller is in the form of line or just a point so we can say that cam and follower form higher pair here because of the ro roller present here the maintain because of the uh, roller present here the motion becomes more smooth as we can compare to knife edge follower this type of follower can be operated at very high speed like in walls of ic engine 
so this was regarding roller follower next we have a spherical follower we can see in last diagram as this is very much clear that in case of spherical follower the surface is curved and again when we give motion to the cam follower follower will move reciprocating direction next type of follower is according to motion we have two kinds of follower which is uh, reciprocating follower and other is oscillating follower reciprocating follower is same as previous examples we have seen of the four different kinds of follower they were all reciprocating that means when cam is rotating this follower will move in up and down direction next we have oscillating follower in this type of follower when the cam is rotating follower will oscillate that is it won't be completing one complete revolution it will just oscillate that is it would be moving like a pendulum so here is the third classification based on line of motion or axis of cam and follower here we have two kinds of follower first one is radial follower and second one is offset follower as we can see in first diagram if we have axis of cam and axis of follower passing through the same line then it is called as radial follower for offset follower it is very much clear from the second diagram that in case of follower the axis of cam and follower they are not passing through the same line it means there is some distance between two axes and that distance is called offset hence the classification of follower is over now we will discuss about types of follower motions and displacement diagrams when cam rotates at angular velocity the follower during its travel may have one of the further motion first one is uniform velocity or uniform motion second one is simple harmonic motion that is shm and the last one is uniform acceleration or retardation let's see motion of follower with uniform velocity in this displacement diagram base represents angular displacement of the cam in degrees that is cam angle in uniform velocity slope is constant and the line bc and da shows dwell period in in which there is no follower motion and the line ab and cd represent rise and return slope respectively with uniform velocity here we have shm that is simple harmonic motion it can be described as an oscillatory motion in which acceleration of the follower at any position is directly proportional to the displacement from the mean position the construction involves drawing a semicircle and dividing it into same number of parts as the cam displacement angle the diameter of semicircle is equal to rise or fall of the follower and here the last is uniform acceleration and retardation now if the follower velocity is increasing at a constant rate then it can be called as uniform acceleration as we can see in the diagram first half stroke follower moves with follower uniform acceleration and if follower decreases its velocity by equal amount in equal intervals of time it is called uniform retardation which we can clearly see in remaining half stroke thank you i i will hand it over to uh... hello everyone i am ashwini lokre let's we discuss how to draw the diagrams of cam and profile with the help of some examples for that we must have to note some points like the displacement diagram of the follower is to be drawn second the cam is assumed to be stationary third the follower is assumed to move around the cam the detailed procedure of drawing the cam and profile for different types of followers is explained in the following section let's we discuss one example example number 1 to draw the profile of a cam operating a knife edge follower from following data Uh, data is given data is follower to move outwards through 40 mm during 60 degree of cam rotation second the follower will for next 45 degree follower to return to its original position during next 90 degree 
follow to dwell for rest of the rotation the displacement of the follower is to take place with simple harmonic motion during both outward and return stroke the least radius of the cam is 50 mm if the cam rotate at 300 rpm this is our question here in this question the follower is of knife edge follower to move outwards through 40 mm during 60 degree of the cam rotation first we write all the angles so theta 0 is equal to 60 degree follower dwell is 45 degree so theta w that is dwell angle is 45 degree in the same way we have the return angle of 90 degree so theta r is equal to 90 degree and dwell for the remaining is 165 degree summation of all these angles is 360 degree then the stroke of the follower is 40 mm and minimum radius of the cam is 50 mm here the motion is simple harmonic motion let's we start our solution first we have to make a displacement diagram and for the displacement diagram we have to take a small scale factor and that scale factor we are converting our degrees into centimeters so for that i take the scale 1 cm is equal to 20 degree so 360 degree line is of 18 cm as per of my scale on x axis and on y axis we plot the stroke of the follower which is of 40 mm so draw the line upward from the left side of 4 cm that is our out, that is our stroke of the follower now complete that rectangle and divide x axis into three segment first is for the out stroke angle which is of 60 degree so 60 by 2 that is our 3 cm because we give the scale on the x axis that is 1 is to 2 so 60 by 2 is equal to 3 cm the length of our out stroke then the next is our follower dwell period is of 45 degree celsius so it is of 22.5 cm and 90 degree of return stroke is 4.5 cm line now we have to divide out stroke angle and return stroke angle into six equal part so for that draw the two inclined lines dividing the out stroke angle and return stroke angle into six equal parts and name them as 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc etc for out stroke the equal parts are from 1 to 6 and 6 to 12 for the return stroke now take the now take that projection of that inclined line on the x axis then next step is this is this diagram is of simple harmonic motion so by taking the midpoint of this stroke we have to draw one semi circle that is our semi harmonic circle of radius 2 cm then divide this semi harmonic circle into six equal parts so 180 by 6 so each part is equal to of 30 degree and name that part uh, from the bottom to top as 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then draw the horizontal lines parallel to the x axis from each division so line coming from 1 intersects intersects the vertical or the division line at a projection line coming from 2 intersects the vertical line 2 at b horizontal line 3 will intersect the vertical line 3 at c same procedure for all all these points uh, up to 6 join all these intersecting points by a smooth curve and this is our simple harmonic curve that we have obtained for for theta 0 is equal to 60 degree that is our out stroke then dwell is of 45 degree so the displacement gives us a horizontal line at the topmost position then for the return stroke the similar or the same points will will be there for the return stroke so uh, mark that point on the return stroke uh, on the length of the return stroke and join all these points by a particular smooth curve for the return stroke and here Uh, that curve represent our displacement diagram during return stroke 
and here we complete our displacement diagram for the simple harmonic motion now for, for cam profile draw for to draw the cam profile first we have to draw a base circle of radius 5 cm then divide that circle by taking the axis line then also divide the base circle into six equal parts uh, so parts of 10 degrees celsius for out stroke because our out stroke is of 60 degrees celsius so each part is equal to 10 degrees celsius then remaining is of 45 degree is of our uh, is our dwell then our return stroke angle is of 90 degree so divide the return stroke angle 90 degree into six equal parts so each part is equal to the 15 degree celsius extend all these divided lines then measure the distance from the base circle from like uh, 0 to a 1 uh, 1 0 1 to a 2 to b 3 to c and uh, measure that distance and transfer it on the on the division of the out stroke similarly for this uh, similar procedure we have drawn from the return stroke Take the distance 6 to G, 7 to H, 8 to I and uh, transfer it on the uh, division of the return stroke angle and uh, at last draw the, all that uh, points by a smooth curve and here we complete our cam profile for the knife edge for this question. Let's we discuss the second question a cam operates a roller follower axis passing through the axis of a cam the specifications are minimum radius of the cam is 25 millimeter lift of follower is 30 millimeter diameter of rollers is 15 millimeter angle of lift is equal to 120 degrees celsius with simple harmonic motion outer dwell angle is of 30 degrees celsius Angle of return is 150 degree with uniform acceleration and retardation. Draw the cam profile. Here this is our question. Here was the radical roller follower moving with simple harmonic motion during uniform acceleration and retardation during a return stroke. So this is our problem statement. Here the follower type is of radical, radial roller follower minimum cam radius is of 25 millimeter which will be the radius of the base circle stroke length is of 30 millimeter roller radius is 7.5 millimeter that is we have given the diameter of 15 millimeter and during the rise of the follower uh, cam rotate, rotates of 120 degrees celsius then dwell period is of 30 degree and return stroke is 150 degree and the follower's motion is uniform acceleration and retardation. So theta 0 is equal to 120 degree, theta w is equal to 30 degree, and theta as is equal to 150 degree. This is the given data of that question. For the solution, let's we start the solution. First, as per as per the same procedure, first we have to make the displacement diagram. And for displacement diagram, we have to take a small scale factor. And that scale factor as we are converting our degrees into centimeters. So on x axis, I take the scale 1 centimeter, 1 is to 2, that is 1 centimeter is equal to 20 degree. Here on y axis, we have to plot the stroke of the follower. And on x axis, we have to plot the cam rotation, that is our angle theta. So for y axis, we take the scale. 1 is to 1 and plot 30 millimeter that is our stroke of the follower now on the x axis we divided x axis into three segments first is of our out stroke angle which is of 120 degree take uh, the scale 1 centimeter 1 centimeter is equal to 20 degree for the out stroke angle so 6 centimeters gives 120 degree 
so theta 0 is equal to 120 degree is equal to 6 centimeters now next 12 pz is of 30 degree so it is of 1.5 centimeters because we use all the values on x axis in 2 ratio of 1 is to 2 for the return stroke the the length is of return stroke is of 7.5 centimeters now we have to divide the outstroke angle and return stroke angle into six equal parts. So draw an inclined line, divided the outstroke angle and return stroke angle into six equal parts and name them as one, two, three, four, uh, one to six for the outstroke angle and six to twelve for the return stroke angle. Then by taking the midpoint of this stroke, draw a semicircle that is our semi-harmonic circle of radius 7.5 mm. Divide the semi-harmonic circle into 6 equal parts. So 180 by 6. So each division is equal to the 30 degrees Celsius. Name that uh, uh, div divided circle and that points from bottom to top like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then draw the horizontal line parallel to the x-axis. So the line coming from 1 intersects the division line 1 at A. Projection line coming from 2 intersects the line 2 at B. Projection line coming from 3 intersects the 3 at C and so on till the 6. Join all these intersecting points by a smooth curve. And that will represent the displacement diagram during outstroke. Then our dwell is of 30 degree. So the displacement diagram gives the horizontal line at the topmost position. Then for this return, return stroke, here is there is the here in this question there is acceleration and retardation. So by solving the equation, V is V is equal to U plus A T. We have marked the point of, of the return stroke and then join that point by a smooth curve and name them as H, I, J, K, L, M and N. And here we get our displacement diagram for the return stroke also. And here we complete our displacement diagram. Now for the CAM profile. The first thing is to draw the base circle and the base here in this question the base circle is of radius 25 millimeter. Next is to draw the prime circle. So prime circle radius is equal to base, base radius and roller radius. So the base circle radius is of 25 millimeter and roller radius is of 7.5 millimeter. So 25 plus 7.5 is equal to 32.5. So draw a prime circle of radius 32.5 mm centimeter. Sorry, 32.5 millimeter. Then draw the axis of the cam. And since the follower is radial, the line of the uh, the center line or the line of the action is on the center. So now draw the roller. Roller, it's on the roll. It's on the lower position of the circle that the roller and the circle is must be in contact uh, on the ro the lower side of the roller and the upper side of the circle is in the contact then uh, the divide the prime circle into number of segment so first is of 120 degree of outstroke so uh, next is the uh, 12 period is of 30 degree and next is 150 degree of return stroke. Now in displacement diagram, we divide the outstroke angle in and return stroke angle in six equal parts. So divide the cam circle into six equal parts of outstroke. So each division is of 20 degree. Then there is of dwell of 30 degree. Then we have to divide return stroke angle into six equal parts. So 150 by 6 so each part is equal to 25 degree then mark that division on the prime circle extend that all the divided lines then measure the distance from 0 to a 1 to b 3 to c 4 to d uh, of the outstroke 
and uh, and similarly the distance from 6 to h 7 to i 8 to j of digital stroke also and mark that uh, distance on that divided lines uh, of the of that div of that angle and then draw the roller of all that installations and then the at least uh, is we have to draw the we have to draw the smooth curve smooth pre and curve tangent to all that all these uh, circular rollers and here we complete our cam profile for the roller follower and in this way we have complete our displacement diagram as well as cam cam profile for that for this question thank you hello everyone I am Varsha Vani and now we are going to see the advantages and disadvantages of CAM and FOLLOWER. Advantages of CAM and FOLLOWER are First, a wide range of linear motion are available from CAMs and FOLLOWERS. Second, it can also absorb shock than normal and can reduce the distortion. Third, they are highly versatile. Advantages of knife edge FOLLOWER it is simplest follower in construction. Advantages of roller follower. First, rate of wear is less. Second, it is used where more space is available. Third, it has more life. Fourth, it is used in oil engines and the aircraft engines. Fourth, flat faced follower. Advantages. First, the side thrust between the follower and the guide is less. Second, it does not have a problem of jamming. Disadvantages of cam and follower. The point between the cam and the follower is in contact with the line that is easy to wear. Second, it is expensive for the setup of equipment. Disadvantage of knife edge follower are first, it points of contact is a sharp edge and has small area. Second, which results in more wear and tear. Third, it is used for small applications. Fourth, it produces considerable thrust between follower and the guide. Disadvantages of flat faced follower. It is used where space is limited, such as in camps which operates the valves of automobile engines. Second, surface stresses are high. Applications of cam and follower. First, internal combustion engine to close and open the outlet valve and the intake valve. Second, in printing machinery, the mechanism of cam and follower helps the screen, helps the screen to be printed. The push helps to take the position where the printing will be done and the pull helps to print out print out that third in textile machinery the mechanism of cam and follower helps to stitch clothes by a push and pull for the screw pieces of machinery fifth gear cutting machineries and a day to day example is wall clock Working of cam and follower. A cam and follower is a mechanism, is a profiled shape mounted on the shaft that causes a lever or follower to move. Cams are used to convert rotary motion to linear motion or we also can say it as reciprocating motion. As the cam rotates, the follower rises and falls into a process called as reciprocating motion. The follower maintains contact with the cam through the force of gravity or by a spring. And the total range of movement is produced by the cam is called a stroke. And now we have seen till now the introduction, terminology, types of cam, follower, types of follower, motion, construction, principle and working. And now we have the result. A cam and a follower is a component that is intrinsically tied to the cam.
Second, CAM exists in many applications as well. Third, the goal of CAM is to convert rotary motion to linear motion. Thank you.